Where in the world have you been? Oh, you better hurry, kiddo. Kiddo? Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 underappreciated Christmas movies. In the season of hope, we will shut out nothing from our firesides and everyone will be welcome. For this list, we're looking at the most underrated holiday classics that we think deserve more love. What's your favorite lesser known Christmas movie? Drop your recommendations in the comments. Number 10, Ernest Saves Christmas. If Home Alone is anything to go by, Slapstick is a recipe for success when it comes to Christmas family films. While 90s comedy was dominated by the likes of Jim Carrey and Robin Williams, Jim Varney's Ernest is fondly remembered by 80s kids. Don't worry, we'll make it. I have lived my life in the fast lane, know what I mean? The character was originally conceived by an advertising company, but the funny man struck a chord with viewers. He was soon starring in his own movies. In Ernest Saves Christmas, the eponymous hero has a job as a cab driver, where he meets Santa Claus. I guess you hear that a lot, huh? Oh, yes, but then it's to be expected. Because you look like him? Because I am him. Because you am him. <laughs> well, how about that? What follows is a madcap caper with heart that's as good-natured as it is goofy. Whether you're looking for a nostalgia trip or just a few laughs, Ernest's holiday adventure is a good place to start. I'm at one with the Yuletide, know what I mean? <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. Number 9. Mrs. Santa Claus There's something very Christmassy about made-for-TV musicals, and this one is a festive treat. My walk is swift and sporty, my disposition is evergreen. Starring the late Angela Lansbury, it follows Santa's wife, who finds herself stuck in New York. There, a Jewish family takes her in, and she begins embracing local politics. Isn't it marvelous what happens when join people us, speak up us. for themselves? You and you know what, Nora? Yeah. What? That's what's going to happen at Tavish Toys. The film is a period piece, a whimsical fantasy, and an all-around delight. Okay, so it's also kind of corny, but, but that's what we like to see in our holiday movies. It's not all sweetness and light, either. During her brief tenure in the city, our heroine fights for women and children's rights. With an Emmy-nominated song from Hello Dolly composer Jerry Herman and a certified star to sell it, Mrs. Santa Claus is well worth a watch. But now that you're sitting beside me, we'll have the best Christmas of all. Number 8. The Family Man Nicolas Cage might not seem like the obvious choice for the romantic lead in a wholesome Yuletide fable, but he's actually pretty convincing here. Sometimes you can look at him and, and you just know he's learning something new. It's like witnessing a miracle. Cage plays Jack, a single Wall Street guy who wakes up one Christmas morning to find himself a family man. In a twist on A Christmas Carol, the Moneybags businessman is forced to look back at his life and see what would have been had he made different decisions. I was the guy who had it all figured out. I had no doubts. I had no regrets. No. Now, now I don't. I don't have it all figured out. It's a romantic and unashamedly sentimental tale, but it's also surprisingly hard-hitting. The moral message of valuing love over money is a bit on the nose, but the heartfelt storytelling and strong central performances are not to be sniffed at. I don't know how you did it, Haas, but you pulled it off. I'm out of the doghouse. <laughs> Way out. Number 7. Prancer Prancer may look like a whimsical fairy tale, but there's more to this family adventure than meets the eye. Please believe me, this is a matter of utmost importance. Prancer is in the shed near my house! The story follows a little girl who stumbles across a wounded reindeer on her dad's farm. She attempts to help him in time for Christmas Eve, believing the creature to be part of Santa's sleigh team. Sam Elliott brings his usual charm and sensitivity to the down-on-his-luck dad. But the real star here is young Rebecca Harrell as protagonist Jessica. I didn't really want to run away. I just... I just want you to find me. Harrell's skillful, confident performance ensures that the movie never feels too downbeat even during its more serious moments. Throw in some gorgeous winter scenery, and you're left with a funny and moving film full of Christmas spirit. The moon is full. And it is Christmas Eve. Listen. Maybe you'll hear us. 
those bells. Number six, Annabelle's Wish. Keeping with the animal theme, who remembers this sweet story about a cow who wants to be a reindeer? Annabelle's Wish went straight to video back in 1997, but we think one critic's complimentary view of its, quote, gentle message of selfless love is spot on. I've been looking all over for you. I never forgot what you did for Billy years ago, and you never expected anything in return. Naturally, young audiences were enraptured. Annabelle herself is a lovable protagonist, and Steve Dorff's score sets the tone nicely. Country music stars, including Dolly Parton, contributed to the soundtrack, adding to the movie's folksy American charm. Round and round, up and down, no boundaries, no fear. My heart was born to dream to see the world from way. The animated adventure goes deeper than you might expect, covering a bitter custody battle and the loss of a loved one. However, Randy Travis's calming narration and the overrunning theme of friendship mark the movie out as feel-good family fare. Yep, Christmas Eve is a night made for wishes. That's what it is. Number 5. The Man Who Invented Christmas We all know the story of A Christmas Carol, but what about the man who put it down on paper? I'm told you wrote it in only six weeks, Charles. What a prodigy you are! The Man Who Invented Christmas stars Dan Stevens as a young Charles Dickens. It follows the author's creative process during the writing of his beloved seasonal masterpiece. Why Christmas? Why not? Does anybody really celebrate it anymore, apart from our clerk, who never misses an opportunity to take a day off? With pay. The celebrated writer has been credited with revolutionizing the way the Western world does Christmas, and this film gives us a sense of that. However, the movie does take some liberties with the facts, giving the story a twist and tying it into the author's journey of self-discovery. The result is an atmospheric period drama with a fantastic cast, including Jonathan Price, Miriam Margulies, and Christopher Plummer as the cantankerous Scrooge. Every idiot who goes about with Merry Christmas on his lips should be boiled in his own plum pudding and buried with a stake of holly through his heart he should. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr. Scrooge, you and I are going to do wonderful things together. Number 4. A Christmas Carol Of all the Christmas Carol retellings, it's safe to say that the Muppets did it best. Still, there are some great alternatives out there, and every adaptation brings something new to the table. Do you know the poulterers on the corner? I should hope I did. <laughs> What an intelligent boy. <laughs> you know whether they've sold the prized turkey that was hanging there? 2009's animated Jim Carrey vehicle is one of the closest to the original novella, incorporating Scrooge's oft-forgotten sister Fan and his encounter with the specters of ignorance and want. Have they no refuge? No resource? <laughs> Are they the prisons? <laughs> Gary and Gary Oldman each master multiple voice acting parts, with Colin Firth, Bob Hoskins, and Carrie Elwes taking on supporting roles. As if that wasn't enough, A Christmas Carol also uses motion capture technology for its CGI. This allows Jim Carrey's famous facial expressions to work their comedy magic. It's an ambitious, stylish movie, and a worthwhile addition to the canon. And it was always said of him that he knew how to keep Christmas well. And so. As tiny Tim observed. God bless us, everyone! Number 3. Arthur Christmas It can take a while for seasonal movies to find a firm foothold in the hearts of the public, but Arthur Christmas is fast on its way to becoming a classic. Look, Arthur, all those stars! We're one of them now! A shooting star! When Santa's likable offspring, the eponymous Arthur, discovers that a single gift has not been taken to its destination, he sets out on a journey to right the wrong. After all, no kid should have to feel that kind of disappointment. She won't understand. She'll think she's the one kid in the whole world that Santa doesn't care about. She'll feel so left out. By putting a new spin on the Father Christmas legend, the creative team has crafted a family movie that feels exciting while retaining a timeless Christmas equality. It's a lot of fun as well, with a lot to make the grown-ups laugh alongside the kids. Here's to me. 
doing an even better job next year. <laughs> Number two, White Christmas. If you're well versed in Christmas trivia, you'll know that White Christmas, the familiar seasonal standard, actually first appeared in Holiday Inn, the 1942 movie. Nevertheless, White Christmas, the film, deserves to be equally celebrated. Look at here, isn't that great? You make it snow in here, pal. Oh, why is this great? Snow, snow, snow. There's dancing, singing, and holiday cheer aplenty. The script is warm and witty, and Irving Berlin's songs are a treat, especially when there are such talented vocalists bringing them to life. Mr. Bones, Mr. Bones, how do you feel, Mr. Bones? Rattling. Mr. Bones feels rattling, ha ha. That's a good one, tell a little story, Mr. Bones. A funny little story, Mr. Bone. The central foursome, portrayed by Bing Crosby, Danny Kaye, Rosemary Clooney, and Vera Ellen, have great chemistry, playing off each other wonderfully and keeping the laughs coming. From the beautiful costumes to the moving finale, this Christmas classic should not be overlooked. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Last Christmas, a cute rom-com showcasing Amelia Clark and Henry Golding's talents. Last Christmas gave you my heart, but the very next day gave it away. Tom and Jerry, a Nutcracker Tale. You can't go wrong with this classic cat and mouse cartoon. <laughs> a Christmas Visitor, a made-for-TV movie with charm and heart. Struggling with the future. Hey, you all right? A visitor will change them forever. The House Without a Christmas Tree. This low-budget movie touched audiences, and its writer even won an Emmy. Your uh, mother made it. My mother made this? She must have been an artist. Christmas in Connecticut, an overlooked classic starring Barbara Stanwyck. It's all so lovely. So lovely. You're lovely, too. Go on, don't stop. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Klaus with gorgeous animation, an impressive voice cast, and well-crafted, interesting characters, Klaus was a hit with critics and audiences alike. He turned to me and he said he'd never been more proud of me, and he hugged me. Can you believe that? Though the 2020 Best Animated Feature Oscar went to Toy Story 4, this release was a real contender. With repeated holiday viewings, we think it's destined to become a family Christmas staple. The movie offers up a new story surrounding Santa Claus's birth, set in the 1800s and involving a mailman and an introverted craftsman. You have a gift, my friend. Birdhouses are nice and all, but come on, those hands were meant for making- I said no! Come on, work with me here. Picture the possibilities. The smart original screenplay does the concept justice, and the vocal talent brings warmth and sparkle. Plus, the old school animation has a nostalgic quality to it, while improved technology lets the traditional hand-drawn style shine. If you're looking for a new festive favorite, this could be it. What I do know is that once a year, I get to see my friend. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.